Hi everyone, welcome to my first video for your Physics One course. Um, I'm definitely more nervous for this than I am even for the class, So, but I'll try to do my best. Also, listening to my recordings makes me realize that my accent is much thicker than what I remember. But anyway, all right, let's start with uh, 4.23, which is one of the problems suggested by the uh, course director. 4.23 is a general physics problem seen in many books where you have a force F1 pushing on a big mass A, which in turn pushes on B. And the problem is asking what is the force that A puts on B, which we'll call F A on B. When you do these type of problems, the first thing you must realize is what type of problem you're dealing with. This is the sum of forces equals MA exercise. It may seem obvious right now because you're in chapter four, but later on, after you've seen many chapters, you still want to get into the habit of diagnosing which type of problem you're dealing with. Okay, once you realize the sum of forces equals MA, we can talk about a few concepts. One, I need to find the force acting on B, so that means that I have to have a body diagram for B. Since I have two bodies, and I have to do a body diagram for A as well. Another concept is B will move because there's a force A on B, and then we need to realize that by Newton's third law, there will be an equal force acting on A. And we'll have to be careful that we draw the forces on the right body diagrams, meaning the force that A puts on B should not go in the body diagram of A. All right, so let's draw those body diagrams. Let's start with A. There is a normal force acting on A due to the ground, perpendicular to the ground, and the weight of A acting down. A is being directly acted by F1, so we need to draw that on the body diagram. Now here I get to use Newton's third law. Since A acts on B, then B must act on A. So now I have to draw the force that B exerts on A. Now let's draw the body diagram for B. There's a normal force going up and a weight going down, similar to A. And the only force on the X is the force that A that starts on B, which is the force that we want to find at the end of the problem. All right, make sure all this makes sense. If you need to pause the video, go ahead. Okay, the next step is setting up this well, writing down the information of this body diagram into equations. Now, sum of force equals MA is a vector equation. That means that I have to write an equation for the X component and for the Y component. Now, the next concept is Realizing what are the acceler what are the accelerations going to be look like? Is it moving only in the x? It's overshooting in the y. So I know that the acceleration in the y has to be zero for both. The bodies are moving together. So I know that a x one acceleration in the x of one. I'm sorry of a has to be at the same acceleration of x of b. Which just for simplicity, I will call it a x. Okay, next, for body A, in dx, F1 minus the magnitude of FBA, since it is pointing to the left, must be equal to MA AX. Since I said the acceleration were the same for both. Similarly, for the other body, for B, magnitude of FAB must be equal to MB, the mass of B times AX. And then with some forces in the Y, 
I will get that Na minus Mag is equal to zero, and the Mb minus Mbg is equal to zero. And the final concept we need to write down now mathematically is that the magnitude of A acting on B has to be the same as the magnitude of B acting on A. As vectors, they're opposite, but their magnitudes are the same. All right, if you get up to this point and everything makes sense, or you get here by yourself, you're done with the physics part of the problem. To get the final answer after this is just algebra. And you can pause the video and try to do it yourself, the test, or just keep going along. All right, I will make some space on my sheet so we can solve this problem. And I will rewrite the Newton's third law statement. I will call this equation one, this one two, and this one three. So to solve, I said that F1 minus FBA is equal to MAAX, just rewriting equation one. Now combine with equation three and two, and you get the F1 minus MBAX is equal to MAAX. Solve for the acceleration in the X, and you will get F1 over MA plus MB. Now you can see that this makes sense that the total acceleration of the system is proportional to the outside force over the total mass A and B. So then to get the final uh, variable, which is the force that A puts on B, I go back to equation two and get that the magnitude of A on B is equal to MB over MA plus MB times F1. And if you put the numerical values for your book, you will get about 50 newtons. Other cool concepts to get from this final answer is that the force that A puts on B is not the same as the original force F1. It's going to be slightly smaller. Well, not slightly, it's gonna be smaller, it's gonna be a fraction. And this, uh, this makes sense because if the force that we put on B, the smaller one, was as big as F1, then that will have a bigger acceleration and no longer will they be moving as the same body. All right, everyone, I hope this is useful. And I'll see you later.